Hello people, it's Richie here from Real Richie Channel. Well, Boris Johnson's come out with some more of his bullshittery in the seat last night. Another one of his famous speeches at 8 o'clock, which I think all the, these seem to be distractions, I think, and what's going on behind the scenes. A couple of days ago, when he, when he brought all these, this uh, Plan B thing out, he, he, this came on the back of the uh, Christmas party gate thing last year where that was exposed and he said next, next day he brings out all these restrictions I think it's just, just they're trying to distract from all the uh, scandals that are going on in Downing Street I mean this thing they come out with this morning they, some, they found out last year he'd taken part in some online quiz like during the lockdown when they weren't supposed to and then it's like 8 o'clock last night they come out with all these new some yet more more restrictions and rules that I hope people but I think he's fighting a losing battle because more I think more people are waking up to what's going on and not not complying with it, which is good. I mean they what they come out with now and they brought brought forward the uh, date from when they're gonna complete everybody having the third jab, or not the, the booster jab. It was gonna be the end of January, now they can try and get it all done, they try and get everybody's third booster done by the end of December. Well good luck with that. And they got back two weeks, haven't they? And uh, he said, oh, we're going to do ev everything we can to stop this tidal wave of Omicron. I mean, Sturgeon out in Scotland, he told there's going to be a tsunami. Now Boris has come. He, he also, if he says, if Sturgeon says something in Scotland, then Boris will come out the next day with like a similar plan. He's just a puppet, I think. He's come out of his, there's going to be a tidal wave of Omicron by the new year. Well, basically, as far as the South African doctors are concerned, it's not much more than getting a common cold. If we keep shutting the country down, a few people catch a cold, we're never going to get out of this shit, are we? Anyway, so, oh, and then he's going to, they're going to do it by every means possible. They're going to deploy the army. That's military talk, isn't it? They're going to deploy the army to get the jabs in. Deploy the army on the streets to get the jabs into people's arms. That's military talk, isn't it? And they're trying to get trying to get people used to having the army on the streets, which I think you can see might, might be coming in the future. Oh, we, 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 we're in, in danger of overwhelming the NHS. Well, that happens every year. That's happened for about the last 30 years. During winter, January, February, the NHS always gets overwhelmed. There's absolutely nothing new about that at all. That's just more, that's just more uh, bullshittery. I mean, are you still believing it? I mean... I'm, I'm, I've given up. I've given up taking any notes on weeks ago now. I mean, the, the, more, the more, to be honest, the more they try and push all these things, the more determined I am not to do them. If, if it was just, if they just said like, oh, oh, it's, oh, it's, op, op, it's sort of optional. You can do it if you want. There's no, no rush sort of thing. People would be more keen. But I think the more, the more they try and force these things onto people, the more determined we are not to do it. And I think a lot of people are thinking much the same now. I mean, a lot, of, even a lot of the people, I'm on a lot of groups on Facebook, uh, interest groups, hobby groups, that sort of thing, like, and there's a lot of people on there starting to say the same thing, like, they're not going to go along with it, they, they're going against the mainstream narrative, and that thing is a complete joke. There's a lot of people thinking that now, a lot more than there was, say, a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks, even a couple of weeks ago, you'd go on there and you'd say anything against the sort of narrative, people say, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that'd be silly, sort of thing, but... You go on there now, the majority of people seem to be like, going against the narrative and agreeing with what we're, what we're saying now, it's a complete, complete joke, it's gone got way too far now. And I certainly won't be taking any jabs and I don't wear a mask either. So, but another thing, what I, what I do, they've been talking about like, you know, boosting your immune system, all this sort of thing like, I think it's a good idea and what I've been doing the last couple of months and it's it's generally generally accepted, especially in the winter, taking vit vitamin C vitamin C supplements, vitamin D three supplements and uh zinc. Because you get in the in the summer you can get vitamin D from what you call the sunshine vitamin, don't they? Vitamin D. You can get that from being out in the sunshine for like twenty minutes, half hour every day, like but in the winter you don't get much in that night. So I mean Vitamin D3 is good for strengthening the immune system, along with vitamin C and zinc. I mean, I've got these uh, 
vitamin D3 tablets, 25 micrograms. They're actually high strength ones. Bought them in Lidl's, $1.99. Don't get me an Aldi, so they're three ninety nine, exactly the same one in Lidl's, one ninety nine for so one hundred and eighty tablets in there. So you've got you've got six months worth in there. That's vitamin D three, and you've got vitamin vitamin C, high strength vitamin C. You can get them. They're sort of you dissolve them in a glass of water and makes like an orange flavoured drink. So you've got vitamin C, and that's got that's got zinc in it as well. So they're, they're, they all help the immune system as well. So they're all good ideas. And that's a, that is a general thing that's, that's been widely recommended vitamin D3, zinc, and vitamin C. There's a couple of videos I'm going to recommend, or a couple of uh, channels I'm going to recommend. There's a channel I've recently subscribed to on YouTube called uh, the chap that's on there, is, the guy that's on there is called Lee. His channel's called Veritas Vincent. And He's, a, he's much the same grief from what we're saying like and going against the narrative and that and I think it's all a big joke. And he's done a lot of good videos the last couple of weeks. Subscribe to his channel on YouTube. I'll leave a link, I'll leave a link on the uh, comments on YouTube and the other platforms I'm going to upload this to. I'll leave a link in the comments and in the description. And another one that's come up, another good video that's come up recently on UK Columns website, it's not on YouTube, I think it might be on some of the other alternative platforms, which I can't name here, there's what they call Doctors for Covid, Doctors for COVID Ethics Symposium, like a big sort of speech to a lot of, lot of uh, various doctors from around Europe, it's, it's quite long, it's about, I think it's nearly, nearly four hours long, I watched some of it the other night, there's a lot of information on there, or sort of well, not alternative, but sort of truthful information about about the about the uh, COVID and various things in relation to that, and uh, they talk sort of all all sorts of information and bits and pieces on. They're a bit technical, bits sort of medical technical sort of thing, but there's a lot of quite relative information on there. You'll you'll never see on never see it on mainstream media or anything like that. You won't see it on there at all, but. I think there might be a link, I can put a link to that in the uh, description as well, I'll find a link for that. Or you can go to the UK Column website, ukcolumn.org, and you can find a link for that on there as well. So, that's how we'll see what happens tomorrow then people. Well, see you on the next one then people. Take care.